Oh boy, it's a new cooking video. It's new subs. And it's something new Kate hasn't made before. No, chicken pot pie. Yeah, she's going to make her first chicken pot pie, so this should be interesting. I'm making it subs. Yeah. And from what I've heard, it's going to be really yummy. I had to change the vegetable subs. Usually it's, you know, you get to mix vegetables with the corn, the peas, the carrots, and the beans um, cut into squares. But Richard doesn't like string beans and doesn't like peas. So, I'm going to do a substitution here <clears throat> with the broccoli, carrots, and cauliflower mix. You know. it's kind of like a California blend. Yeah, that's all it is. So I'm going to do that because he doesn't like some of the usual vegetables that you use. So I just, it doesn't matter what vegetables you use, you just use whatever kind you want. Yeah, whatever floats your boat. Yeah, it, it's not a big deal or anything. You just do whatever you want. Okay. First of all, of course, we're going to spray. some potatoes squares in there. I'm going to chop up the potatoes. Where are the taters at? Are in, here? in that bowl. There's a bowl in there with the taters. Mm. This one? Yeah, okay. And yeah, you boiled the potatoes yesterday to yeah. save time. Yeah, well, I just have to cut them up. Here's the taters. Yeah, they're big. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, subs, is we're going to I'm going to take a little break here so I can cut up the taters. Because that's the only thing that needs to be cut out. I couldn't do it last night because they were hot. So I couldn't do them. So I'm going to chop up the potatoes and then we're well, I'm waiting for the stove to heat up anyway. So we'll do that and then we'll come back. All right. All right, we're back. So my girl chopped up her taters and onions. They're chopped up subs. Yep, so I figured we'd save a little bit of time and let her do that and now she can go ahead and start putting her pot pie together. Yeah, so what I'm going to do so is I went and bought these crescent rolls, you know, so I'm going to use these to put on the top and to put, I mean, yeah, put on the bottom, sorry, and then put on the top. So that's what I got to do next. I haven't done this for years because I usually make them, but I'm not going to do it this time because that's too much trouble. No, that's right. These are the ones that pop, don't they? Yeah, these pop. Wow. I haven't done this for a long time. It used to, when it got to the end, it will pop, but now. No. You have to you hit just it. Bang it. Mm hmm. It, they used to just pop when you when you took the paper off. Yeah. I guess it doesn't do that anymore. But because I haven't used these in decades, my mom used to use them. <laughs> they blow up in your hand. Yeah. They well, they used to just come apart. You know, so it wasn't a big deal or anything. Yeah. Stupid so. thing. Uh, I tell you, subs. I'm out of practice. I'm out of practice. Want me to help you? Help me do what? Get it open. No. Well, you don't have any nails or anything to oh, well. do with this shit. Yep. Well, you could just, you know, but bang it. Well, you have to pull the paper off when you can no. bang it. <laughs> What's wrong with him, sir? Didn't I already tell him? This damn thing does not want a... Oh, I was about to say something. Oh, my. One got to be different. Different. Yeah. Turn it. But it's it's coming off. I don't care what it does. It's because you're peeling from the wrong end. There's the thing. Oh! <laughs> he, you forgot I, how to I, handle... I'm doing a, yeah, I haven't done this for decades, so You subs. forgot how to handle, you know, that... That, that dough. That tube. Yeah. Oh my goodness, sir. Wow. Yeah, get that, that just goes to show. I haven't done it for a long time. Yeah, now so. go ahead and bang it. Most of my adult. Well, matter of fact, I've never done it because I've never, I've never used this. Okay, there it goes. Wow. Oh my goodness. You can <laughs> smell the butter in this. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, I got to kind of shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. Look familiar? Can't believe I did that, sir. I can't believe it's not butter. Yeah. This smells like butter. Yeah, it does. It smells. Yeah, it smells really, really good. Yeah. <laughs> wow, look at it. this one's getting a little yeah, that's okay. thick. And I'm going to leave the torn part in here, subs, these seams. Because that's going to help the steam get out. Hmm. So I'm going to leave that. Oh, can they see what I'm doing? Yep. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to put this up, subs, so, you know, you get some all the way around. Okay. I can always you know, cut that off. Run it around the bottom. Yeah. Maybe. But I'm going to, well, that's why I bought two of them. First time for everything. See that because I want the air to get out. I want to have a chance to escape from here. Hmm. Yeah. You might have to get a third roll to put on top. I have two more in there. Hmm. There to go on top. Oh. Do you go back see cook it again, sir? I'll have to watch you on trying to unpeel that second roll there, I'm like, maybe I should help. Oh, that was your <laughs> I don't even see the bottom. <laughs> uh, you know. I, am, uh, I, I admit, I haven't done this for decades. Use these here, because I used to just make it, but yeah. I don't feel like making it today. So I'm not going to. This is a lot easier. Besides, I like to to see the mistakes I make. You know, because everything, you see these um, videos, but they, they do it so perfect. Makes mistakes, yeah. You know, and I like to see that. Yeah, you make mistakes, all right. So usually, yeah. if we we make mistakes, we leave it in. Yeah, because it adds to the entertainment value. Yeah, so we just leave it in. I mean, everybody, are, you, know, you know, those that are out there that make these types of videos, they're they do it their way. We we're we're off the we're like we're uh, off the chains. Though. Yeah, we're off the chains. We're like the the salmon of cooking videos. Yeah. You know, we're we're. Swimming upstream in a downstream cooking world. Yeah, we're going the wrong way. <laughs> the wrong way. Yeah, we're in the wrong way, man. Yeah. So it'll be I. Yeah. I'll go ahead and drain the mushrooms. This is our last jar of Pampa Dollar uh, Dollar Tree mushrooms. That's the last jar. Yep. We got cans from Walmart. Oh. Got a lot of those. So. But oh, yeah. Okay. Figure we'll just go ahead and use this last jar for this here occasion. Oh. to keep all the filling in. I want the filling to stay in. Alright. So you don't need any more of this here onion? 
No, I don't need any more of that. Okay. Now, Sibs, I'm going to make the filling, which yeah. I'm going to need um, the butter. I'm going to keep this, <clears throat> so because you never know what you may need it for, so I'm going to keep it for the for the top layer. Mm. Okay, let me turn this oven on. Stove, rather. Let me wash my hands. No. Okay. So get your flour. Need some butter. Need some butter, okay. Or margarine, whatever you have, so. Margarine used that. It's all. It's all going to work the same. So. Probably want to finish that one off. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter because it's all going to work the same. Use this, you know, like we did last week, subs. Yeah, the old country crock. Yep. How many teaspoons do you think? Uh, well, you this just, is a tablespoon. It's a tablespoon. Yeah. Usually I do four, four or five tablespoons to make enough sauce. They call it roux. I just call it sauce. Mm -hmm. I'm not fancy fancy. No. I'm not bougie. You're, you're not cla a classy sophisticated? No. I'm just a regular hometown cook here. Oh. I'm just mom and pop home cooking. Oh, from the Berg? Yeah. Well, ain't that a fine boy howdy. Yep. Yeah. So, melt this down. He might as well finish off that tub, actually. Maybe. <laughs> okay, subs, we'll be back as soon as this melts down. All right. All right, everything's melted. Yep, it's all melted, Sib, so... Make sure we got the shot here, which oh, oh, we do. Oh, oh. Just like when we made the dish last week. That was the potatoes on gratin. Potatoes on gratin, yeah. You have to cook it until it gets that flour taste out. And it's going to be lumpy. That's just how it is. During them lumps. Yeah. <clears throat> well, it'll still taste good no matter what yeah, it looks like. Yeah, you, you, it'll. Chicken broth. Oh, yeah, cup in there. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake that broth. Temperature is starting to cool down now. This is actually a good meal to make. Yeah, it's just comfort food. Comfort food, yeah. Yep. And being that it is football Sunday, it's be a good football meal as well. Yep. Because it's party subs. What I used to call it, stick to your ribs again. <laughs> stick to your ribs. Uh huh. So well. Stick to your ribs because it's it's good. Now we can 
add the onion. Put whatever seasonings you want in it. What kind of seasonings are you gonna add? Just a regular, you know, pepper and um, Italian seasoning. So don't really, it doesn't really require a lot because of all the flavors that are going in as far as like the vegetables and everything. So. There's Italian seasoning right there. Yeah. That smells yummy already. And then I'm going to put milk in it. But the flour that's already in here it is going to thicken it up. Mm. Yep. No, oh, you dump those in. Yeah, you can just dump them. Oh. See, I'd get, I'd get in trouble if I was doing that. Yeah, because you'd have probably splashed everything all over. <laughs> yeah, you'd have probably did it from up here. Yeah. Instead of just putting it in a bowl. Yeah, plop, plop, plop. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm-hmm. And here I am with nine degree burns. <laughs> nine degree burns. Yep. And yeah, remember, safety third. Yep. <laughs> he, don't, he don't think about safety, sir. <laughs> no, he does not. Okay, I'm going to use that to put these here and here. Alright, the shroomage. Yeah. Cause you, and this is a good way, if you want to make potato soup suds, this is basically um, the recipe over here, you know, for um, potato soup. Oh. So, which I'll be making in the winter. Making some potatoes. Oh. Okay. Cream of taters? Yeah, I guess you could call it cream of, cream of potatoes, yeah. Two cups of milk. Okay. Two cups of milk. I use two percent milk, but you can use any milk. Some people put cream in theirs. I I don't. But you can. I mean, you can use whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. Oh my. Ugh. Must have been that pepper. It must have been. Good thing you didn't sneeze in the soup there. No, I'm <laughs> going in the yeah. There's some flavor for you. Yeah. Good old backwoods cooking. Uh -huh. Hot chew. <laughs> Shroomage. Yep. Mm. Really? I found a morsel. There, that makes it complete. <laughs> I'll get rid of this jar.
just a little more flyer. A little bit more? Just a tad. You know, just sprinkle it in. Make it a little thicker. It'll help thicken everything up once it gets hot. Yeah. Okay, we gotta bring this to a boil. So we'll be back as soon as it starts boiling, Sibs, and no. add what's left. No. Alright, we're back and she's about to add the veggies. Okay, you can cut this for me while I add in the, the meat. Oh, the meat? Yeah. Yeah, Sib, so we came to a boil, it's starting to thicken up, so I'm gonna add the meat. That I it was just that rotisserie chicken that he we bought yesterday at um, Walmart and I just took it and stripped it and gave Richard the what was left. Yeah, and I ate it. Yep, it's all gone. Skin and all. Mm -hmm. Yep, he ate all of it. <laughs> that's what's left because we had to save some for this pot pie. Yeah. <laughs> like you said, I eat everything. Yeah, he eats everything. Subs. Everything. <laughs> yep. Oh, okay. Yep, then there go the veggies. Yep. Then you just add the vegetables. together. I'll coat everything. and ready to enjoy. Yeah, these this that's already been taken care of. I don't have to. Usually frozen vegetables, you don't have to wash those. They've already been washed. No. Because they're already cut. So if they were um, now fresh broccoli or fresh vegetables, yeah you have to wash those. But frozen no. vegetables you don't have to wash. Well you don't want to leave a little dirt on there for flavor? No. Oh, okay. I remember we used to get those potatoes in ten pound bags, remember? Because they didn't sell them in nothing but ten pound bags. Yeah. And they had dirt all over them. <laughs> yeah, it's like came right yeah. out of the ground and put them in a sack. Yeah, that's probably what they did. Because there was dirt everywhere. Oh, my goodness. All over the floor. Because <laughs> they used to have those little netting in the front. But you couldn't really see the potatoes like you do now. So you didn't know if there was how many in there was bad or whatever. Because you know you got some to eat sometimes. Yeah. They'd mix those in. <laughs> yeah. And you had that, that was that paper, that brown sack. Yep. You know, so you couldn't really see what all was going on. Yeah. Like you can now. Well, now they have the smaller five pound bags because they didn't have five pound bags back in the day. You got 10 pounds. But everybody back then, um, a lot of people had, you know, big families back then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Come in here and I want you to I'm gonna use you as a guinea pig. See if that needs more seasoning or, or what? what? What are you doing? You know what I think it needs? No, we're not getting up. <laughs> Absolutely not. No. I'm about to set you on fire because I <laughs> He's not getting any of that, Subs, because I did that the last time. But just think about what kind of flavor would be added to 
Mmm. Do I need more seasoning? It's actually not bad. Um, yes or no? I'll let you be the judge. I mean, uh, it's all right, but... Yeah. I'm, oh, what, I got germs? No, but I can't... You had your mouth on. I can't stick it in the food. Well, so what's what's the difference between that and a kiss? No. I know your mouth been. <laughs> See what you think. pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like it. You know what would make it better? Nope. <laughs> but you guys can add what you want. I'm obviously yeah, not going to get bacon. No. <laughs> no. No bacon this time. Okay, so it's, it's ready to be poured. Ready to be poured in the, in the thing here. Mm -hmm. And you can get the other two out for me, please. Yes, my love. There, got the other two. Now remember, look for the little thingy right there. Just saying. Oh, just saying? Yeah. No, I don't know. See, it even says right here, pull in direction of arrow to remove label. Please spoon at seam. Twist can to open. Oh, so you just beat it. You don't twist it. No. Just <clears throat> hit it. No, you just hit it. Oh, just bang it. Mm-hmm. Bang it on the table. But yeah, just bang it on the counter and table, it'll open. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna set him on fire. So <laughs> yeah. Because he's, he's ruining the show. Well, I'm adding adding my own little flavor tainment oh, to are, it. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah, flavor tainment. This is kind of heavy. Can you pick that up? I'm oh, you want, oh, now you need my help. Yeah. Here, I'll do this. Oh, okay. Make sure I don't spill it. Right. Don't turn it. Okay. So I was trying not to. I didn't know if it was gonna be too much, you know, because I might get in trouble dumping. Oh, oh, you might get in trouble mm -hmm. for dumping. Mm -hmm. well, we can't have it. Yeah, I know. I got in trouble before for dumping. I got punished. He gets punished, subs. <laughs> Uh, put that. See? I'm trying to not make a mess and I'm making a mess. That's okay, Seb. Don't be mopping that up. <laughs> we could add some real bacon pieces. Yeah, put that in the fridge. In the fridge. You're not getting any bacon. <laughs> How many times? It, ain't he just like a five year old sub? You say, no, can I have this? No. Come back a little later. <laughs> be like, like, like I like, forgot. We want to eat. Yeah. <laughs> Remember those days? <laughs> okay, I'm going to have my brother tell you about that. <laughs> that we got to eat story. Yeah. We want to eat. I don't know if he, I think he might remember that. I don't know. Oh, so you said he was pretty young. Yeah, he probably does. He was young. <laughs> so let me make sure it comes all the way up here. <laughs> yeah, that's a damn fool, Sibs. <laughs> yep. So that's the stuffing in there. Okay, now, let me follow the directions. Yeah, there hey, you I admit, I haven't done this for decades. There's so. that thingy right there. What? Yeah, you gotta peel right there. There you go. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah. There you go. Oh man. Brutal. Wow. <laughs> see where it's getting at. It's hard to find the hard to find the beginning of these. Oh, there could be a
and just mold it. Subs. And like I said, it has holes in it. I keep the holes because I, I want the steam to escape. So, you know, just mold it however to the you know the shape of your pan. It's not a big deal or anything. Ooh, you can probably use that last piece on there too. Yeah. Just shape it to how you want it. I don't know where we can put this one. Mm, just cram it on the edge. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. I'll just put it on there. It's not a big deal. Yeah, no waste here. Nope. Not going to waste a find a way for it. See, and that way the steam can get out. So it won't make a mess. Run away, run away. Run away. Okay, we didn't even need this one. Okay, I'm but I, but yeah, we'll save it because this is for croissants. Yep. Okay, now I need um, one egg. One egg? Yeah. So I'm going to make an egg wash to put on the top to make it nice and gold brown. Because it doesn't have to be in the oven long. Only about maybe a half an hour. You're just waiting for the dough to cook. Hmm. That's all you're, that's all you, you want. All right, we got five jumbo eggs left, so I'll let you pick one. Where's those? Oh, here. Yep. Can we get these from the dollar store? Uh, maybe. I don't remember. It's a little brush for yeah, for egg wash. For spreading the egg on our. You're gonna save this tin foil for in the oven, right? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and get this flare out of the way. Milk back in the fridge. See, I'm helping. Even though I'm not getting bacon. Nope, you got bacon last week. Oh. And what did that all gratin taste like? Bacon. Yeah, it tasted really good too. It didn't last long. Nope. Like what, two days? Yep, that, it was gone. <laughs> I mean, I thought I had made enough to last for about three days, subs. No, no. Nope. I don't know if I was out of camera or not, Seb. So sorry. I'm just, I'm still getting used to being on camera because I'm just used to cooking. Yeah, you're in. I was over here, though. Yeah. Wow. Did I make a bigger mess? Yeah, I'm making a mess. <laughs> Cooking's messy, Subs. I know you see everybody on YouTube, but no, no, nothing's messy. Yeah, well. But this this is real life. We're slopping, glopping, getting it on. Yep. <laughs> Yep, because this is this is real life. Yep, here. First. So I show you everything, the mistakes we make, and everything else, because I flub up a lot in the kitchen. Yeah, as we saw with that last tube of. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I admit, hell, I ain't did that in years, decades, shit. Because mm. <laughs> I usually make my own um, dough and stuff, but I'm tired subs, and I, I just don't don't feel like dealing with all of that. Oh. No, I just don't. I just don't want to deal with it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the easy way out. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Spend my little dollar, or whatever, and get this these crusts. Well, you can use biscuits. Yeah. If you want biscuits, you know, you can use any kind of biscuit dough because they're all the same. You're just going to pay for somebody's name, but they're all made the same. Yeah, the great value seems to be the cheapest. Yeah, but it, it's it's all the same. Mm -hmm. It's all made exactly the same way. But you're gonna, um, you're gonna pay for the other brand's name and all that advertising. Somebody got to pay for that. But great value, which of course is Walmart's brand. They don't advertise that, so that's pretty much stays cheap. They don't advertise anything, because I guess because they take everybody. Yeah. So they undercut everybody's costs all that. <coughs> All right, got a big mess here that I'll be cleaning up periodically. Yep. In a minute. So, there's what the finish, well, the, the product before it's finished yeah. is like. So, we're going to go ahead and put this in the oven because it's ready. So, get that set up. Pull out the tray. Yeah, I'll put this in for my love because she's amazing. And darling. There you go. All right, subs. So I'm gonna put that in, and then when it starts getting brown, then I'll put the um, tin foil on so it doesn't get too brown. No, oh, okay. You gotta put that in. Put that on About later. Halfway through. Oh, okay. 
So. So I'm going to clean all this mess up because I made a mess. And then we'll take it out in about 30 minutes and yep. put the tin foil on. So. No, we'll take it out in about 15 minutes. Oh, 15. When it starts to get brown, then I'll. Shit, I'm making a mess. Wow. Then I'll take it out. Then we'll have to get the mop. <laughs> and I'll put the. If it looks like it's getting too brown, if it doesn't, then I'll just leave it alone. Yeah. But let me clean this up, so because I'm making more of a mess. And I, I, this is the messiest I've ever been in the kitchen. Yeah, and we're getting it on video too. Yep. Perfect. All right, we'll be back. <laughs> this on the top of it and it'll stop that from browning but it'll still cook yep and, and then we'll put it back in yep and we'll come back when, when it's, it's ready up. yep yummy all right I think we're about ready to check it out yep First time, and first one, and it turned and out never. I mean, I've never made. My mom didn't make it either. I don't know if my grandma made. It. I wish she had lived until I was well into my thirties. I would have learned so much more from my grandma. But she passed when I was nineteen, right at the age when I could have started learning from her. Hmm. Okay, this has to cool for about fifteen minutes. So we'll be back about. Eh, it's going on 12, so we'll just say... 10 after. Yeah. We'll so. give it some time to cool off. It is way too hot, you mm -hmm. know, to cut into right now. Yeah. You yeah, don't want to burn my mouth, but yeah. it's it smells so good, and I'm hungry, but i got to wait subs. and stuff. So but it turned out pretty. I thought it was going to boil. It did not boil over. Wow. It stayed within the confines of the, of the pan. And, again, this is croissant um, dough, but you could use, you know, biscuit dough. Mm -hmm. You know, if you rather have the biscuits, you know, side by side or whatever design you want to make, you know, or just have it on the bottom, you know, or just have it on the top. I mean, that's up to you. I just chose to do croissants because they're they're a little flakier. Yeah. You know, that's why I did it. Mm. But we'll be back in about 15 minutes, subs, and then yeah. I'll cut it up for them. And I'm going to taste this awesome food. So did you want a regular, regular plate you know you what just want to taste it. i might go ahead and get a regular plate oh, okay. but that'll be you know i'm just gonna sample it on video and then i'm gonna eat the rest off camera so oh, over here we'll be back all right it is time to sample this amazing delicacy it's a delicacy soaps. yeah from my girl made with love yeah it's made with love subs mm-hmm Did I tell you? <laughs> I can't stand you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set him on fire. No. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah, see, just another centimeter. Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> or millimeter? Wow. Yeah. Oh, I get the bigger section. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Oh, I figured you were just gonna, you know, I wasn't sure. Oh, that. Oh, that would have been enough for you. This, no. This little, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> She knows me too well, because we got a big appetite. Yeah, it's coming out or cutting out pretty good. Oh, there you go. thick and when it cools, but he wanted it now. So. Yeah, because 
he, yes. he just had to have it now. He, huh? could, he just couldn't wait, Subs. Mm -hmm. He couldn't wait. I mean, look at this. That, it's that's amazing. Itself. Yeah. Sorry, I couldn't wait. Yeah. They cooled off in a second, but mm -hmm. he, he had to have it now, so. Yep. So now let me get the camera adjusted. You can watch me stuff my pie hole. There we go. All right. I'm wait for my girl to come on back. Well, well, you're the chef. People want to see. Oh, oh, do they? Yeah. People want to see you. Well, you just couldn't wait. Yeah. And yes, he usually does eat like that, Subs. Mm -hmm. that, that's how he eats. Yep. This will be lunch. And I'll probably get another big section. Just This is why these meals don't last. Because... He goes in there and just oh, eats everything. I'm hungry. And when I'm hungry, I eat. He eats a lot. <laughs> I barely, you know, sometimes, that's why I like to make more, because if I don't, I won't get any. Wow. Just like a pot pie. Is it, the croissant's nice and creamy. And it is. It's And the buttery flavor, you can definitely taste it. Mm -hmm. That's why I didn't put too much salt in it, mm -hmm. because there's salt in the butter that, yeah. I'm, that I'm using. You know, so that's why I didn't. Yeah, this is great. Too much of it. And he gets vegetables. I try to get as many vegetables as I can in him, mm. subs, because he doesn't. It, uh, he would just eat meat, you know. And I'm like, no, you need to, you need to have some vegetables in you. There's a little balance in the in my diet, is what mm -hmm. you're saying? Yeah, because I mean, you, you you just eat meat. That's it. Meat and bread. That's it. Yeah. No vegetables. chicken sandwiches, turkey sandwiches. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sandwich sandwiches. Sandwich. <laughs> yeah, it don't matter. Or he would just eat those, mm. a bowl of nuggets. Mm -hmm. still, you can't, no, that's, mm -mm. no. Are the potatoes nice and soft? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Potatoes are awesome. I mean, everything. It's nice, I mean, yeah, because we could smell it, and it smells, the kitchen smells mm -hmm. really nice. Yeah, I mean, it's. It's definitely, you know, with the cooler temperatures, fall's coming. Mm -hmm. This is definitely some good comfort food. Yeah, I went in the front room to get the Pepsi, and huh? it's only 60 degrees in there. Where it's usually like almost 100 degrees back there. Oh, yeah. But it's, it's really nice. I'm going to have to take a case of Pepsi and some uh, water over there mm. and replenish everything. Wow. But. Yeah, that that's, a, that's awesome. You know, I can only imagine what it would have tasted like with bacon bits. Yeah, well, you can imagine. <laughs> so, yeah. But, yeah, this is... That won't last long, Subs. No, this is great. That'll, that'll be gone in a few minutes. I don't know how yeah. he could eat like that, hmm. but, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know how he could eat like that. Well, you actually do it all the time. But, yeah, I don't... Yeah. See, that would No, I couldn't eat like that, but... I'm a growing man. Well... <laughs> One part grows. <laughs> I love you. Love you <laughs> so, there you go. Kate's first chicken pot pie. Mm, that he couldn't wait. Mm -hmm. Subs could, couldn't wait. Once that I heard she was going to make it. Thick, it'll thicken up as it gets cold. Yeah. Well, not cold, but as it cools, it cools down. Up. But he, he, I mean, he just kept nagging me, Subs. I'm hungry. You know, he. I mean, yeah, I had a Whopper for breakfast, but still, I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm over there, you know, watching how other people make their chicken pot pies, and it's it's basically the same recipe, mm -hmm. but everybody has their own variation of it, yep. but it's basically the same. And so while I'm trying to watch that, gee, is it done? You think, you think it's done? Because we can smell it. What do you think? Time is money. I think we should go in there. Time's I, ticking. I think, I think you should take it out. No, yeah. it just let it, leave it alone. <laughs> it has to sit there for a little while. I'm ready to eat. But yeah, she might go ahead and attempt a, uh, we were talking about this off camera, maybe a turkey pot pie with some of the leftover turkey yeah. for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Maybe a beef pot pie. Yeah, I'll be making a beef one. So, mm -hmm. there's others probably coming in the future, but this is the first one. First time ever doing it, and it was a great success. So, I'm impressed, and it tastes awesome. So, mm -hmm. It yeah. is comfort food yeah. for, for this time of year. You know, mm -hmm. I'll be making chili, you know, spaghetti bake. I'll be making a bunch of stuff now, you know, because it is, the weather is starting to change. 
and it was actually in the 50s at night. It was yeah. actually chilly. I had to go, you know, break out the heavier. I got him a heavier quilt, and I got me a heavier blanket. Yeah, but I didn't turn the heat on. I was like, this no, is perfect. Heat, no, turn the heat. I, yeah. I don't bother with the heat subs until around November. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't, because, well, down here, up north, we start turning it on about October, because it does get cold up north. Yeah. But down here, it seems to hold off a little bit. So, but no, because I, I have a whole bunch of heavy blankets and stuff, and, oh, it's so comfy cozy. <laughs> and I have those um, fleece sheets, you know, that are really nice and soft, you know. It's like sleeping on a puppy, you know. Oh. It's just really, really soft. Yeah, without the yelping. Oh, yeah. Get off me. Yeah. 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 So... <laughs> There you go. So we'll wrap up this video. Uh, another cooking video from just Kate. Couldn't, just couldn't wait. Could mm -mm. Nope. I'm going to eat the rest of this now off camera because the game's going to be starting soon. So. Uh, oh, and that's another reason he he was yeah. rushing me. Because mm -hmm. last time we ran into the the game well, last week. It got, but it got done. You didn't miss any of it. It mm -hmm. was just starting. I was just wanting to, you know. He likes to rush me. <laughs> He, he, I'm loves, just, he loves you know, to rush me. If we can get it done before 1 o'clock when when football starts, then it's like, but yeah. I didn't want to rush you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I don't so, want to make the pie too thick yeah. because it'll burn. Mm -hmm. And then it'll get done, and then the outside won't be done. So you don't want to do that either. You want to leave some liquid in mm -hmm. there, you know, so that it doesn't burn, because it will, because it has to be on like 400 degrees. So Yeah. You know, that'll, that'll, so as you can see, the, the top you know, got golden brown really quick, mm -hmm. you know, so you want to try to stop that. You don't want that to get done, and the inside is not done, and yeah. then you don't want the inside to be done and burn, and then the outside is not done yet. Mm -hmm. So, you know, yeah. it, it could be a little thin, because it'll, as you can see, it's thickening up. Yeah. You know, as you can see, if somebody had just waited, you know, but. Got to eat now. Yeah. So, all so, right. Okay, that's my first try it up. Chicken pot pie subs. There'll yeah. be other other recipes as time goes by. Yep. Yeah, so hope you enjoyed it. And until next time. Bye, subs. Adios. And stuff. Yeah. It's pretty easy. Mm -hmm.